Hello everyone. Welcome to this next session of introduction to Oracle database. I hope that you people have downloaded uh, Oracle Express as I have requested you in the previous video. If not, I again request you to please search for uh, Oracle Express, see my previous video. You can find different version of Oracle Express, but I will recommend you to download 10G, 11G only because it will take very less space. Okay, 18C and 12C they take lot of space and they are quite typical to install. Okay, so let us begin. I hope that you have downloaded and you have tried to install also. Now, basically there are two main Oracle variants. One is free. You can use freely in at home, at offices, at colleges. That is Oracle Express. It has some limited features, but all the features required for your study, for your subject, for your entire SQL course. Okay. But advanced features, they are available in Enterprise Edition, which is licensed. Again, they are available in 10G, 11G, 12C, 18G and so on. Okay. So now what, what you have to do? See, during the installation time, it might ask you for a password. So you must remember that password because that password is used for two default users that I will tell you just now. Now after installation, what you have to do? You have to click on start. In start, uh, you try to search for Oracle group. In my laptop, there is no Oracle group because I have removed it due to some reason earlier. So you will find Oracle group here. In that Oracle group, you will find Oracle Express 10G or 11G. And in that group, when you will click on that group, you will find an option called as run SQL command line. So please click on that option. Okay. So what you have to do? You have to click on start. You have to search Oracle Express group and then click on run SQL command line. So as soon as you will click, let me show you one example. As soon as you click SQL plus something, you will see something like this. Okay. This type of screen will come in front of you. Okay. So this is the default Oracle login screen that you see uh, in case of Oracle Express. Okay. I will come to the point uh, what I have done just now, but uh, I'm just telling you that what you have to do in this case that after clicking on start, find Oracle Express group, run SQL command line, and then you will find this window. Okay. Now next thing. Now in order to connect to Oracle, there are different ways. You can connect through command line that I have told you. You can connect through tool or browser. Let me show you another, another example of a tool. I have Oracle Enterprise. So there is an icon, something like this. It is called as Oracle SQL Star Plus. Now you can see there is written Oracle SQL Star Plus. Okay. So this is also one of the way. And another method is you can use browser. That I will come again. So, okay. And what was the command line method? The command line method was you can go to uh, this run prompt type CMD. Okay. In CMD, you will see uh, this Windows prompt. I hope it is uh, visible to you. Let me make it a little bit larger. So here, what do you have to do? You have to just type SQL plus. So when you will type SQL plus, the same thing it will ask as it is asking here. Okay. So there are three, there are two, three ways which you can do. First, I have told you, again, I'm repeating. You go to start. Okay. Find Oracle group. That group is currently not in my laptop, so I am not able to show you. In Suppose you reach to Oracle group. So in Oracle group, when you will click down, it will show you an option something like run SQL command line. So you have to click on that option run SQL command line. Second method was go to DOS prompt by clicking on, by typing CMD. Okay. And then typing what? Then typing SQL plus. Okay. This was the second way. And 
what was the third method third method is, is available in case of enterprise edition where you find such tool where you can click here and you will find this type of login window okay so in any case you it will ask you for username and password so now what come to that point so there are few default oracle users like let me increase the font a bit so some default oracle users are sys system hr scott now scott is uh, a very old user and maybe in 18c 12c it might not be available now so but sys and system are some default users and the password of these two users is single common password which is given at installation time that is why i have asked you to remember the password also okay so you can log in with either sys or system however you should try first with system and for example let me show you i will type username system okay now password will not be visible please type carefully in my case it is something else so i will type oh, something 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 and enter okay it it is showing you connected to okay connected to oracle database 10g enterprise as you can see i have enterprise edition okay so i am connected to enterprise edition now same thing i will show you in uh, next video see again i will type system password enter it will show me connected to so uh, same database connection methods are different it is connected to same oracle server okay now let me show you one more thing i will type show user please write all these things in a copy show user you can see user is system same thing i am typing here show user it is showing system okay so now one more thing that i will suggest you just now that please make a separate copy okay of practical portion okay i am typing it just to make it prominent or what you can so what you have to do please make a separate copy of practical portion or what you can do is you can uh, divide your uh, dbms notebook in two parts ठीक है two parts first part can be uh, theory part and second part can be practical part now why i am telling you this because uh, there are number of topics that are completely theoretical and there are number of topics that are uh, uh, practical portion so if you if they got mixed you will be confused uh, while searching them so i will suggest you please implement any of these two strategies okay either make a separate copy of practical portion okay or please divide your dbm notebook into parts first part you keep as theory second part you keep as practical okay and please remember that if you will not write all these things it will be difficult for you to do the practical okay so please note all these thing which i have told you till now and uh, practice them let us move ahead so and write down these commands also like for example i have told you the steps for connecting was you go and start you type what cmd again i am telling you or command then it will show you this window you can type uh, and then you have to type sql plus okay so it will ask you the password password default i have told you the user is system password that you give during installation and it, it is given caps so it is a problem you have to give it, give it in small so you can say see now one interesting feature what you can see is i have two times log in with the same user so it is very well allowed in oracle okay so now you can see that let me show you now this is one window and this is another window 
so both are currently active now what uh, let me show you here i am typing show user so what you can do is you can to clear the screen you can type clear screen sorry clear screen okay and here also i can type clear screen and now here i type show user it is showing me system here i will type show user it is showing me system and the third one was i will type here also show user it will show me the same so here you can see in front of you there are three options the two 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 three windows open connected to same oracle database server but it is no effect you can connect thousands of time in the same system different system like in your banking example you connect to your uh, bank server through atm through mobile app through bank counter and any other kind of thing oracle supports all types of thousands of connection return that is why it is so robust and that is why it is so costly okay now slowly and steadily you will learn the power of uh, oracle now see what you are seeing in front of you is a very small sql prompt but it is very very powerful slowly and steadily you will see the how much powerful it is it is running the entire world uh, very large 500 fortune companies and many banks they keep their very critical data in oracle database only because it is very very robust highly secured okay that we will see very soon how how it is now is this thing clear to you i hope there is no confusion in this you can see the video again revise now let me show you one more thing uh, what we have seen we have seen show user we have seen clear screen now one more thing what we can do in oracle in case it is not a sql command we can type four characters also like i have typed let me show you in larger window so what i can type i can type clear screen so now what is this these are four four character they are allowed clear screen or i will type clear screen it is also allowed and one more thing you have seen that i have not put any semicolon so what clear screen if i put semicolon also then also it works but in case of sql it is mandatory to give semicolon and you cannot give shortcut for example uh, suppose you want to see the name of the user what was the command show user but show user is not a sql command so for sql command what to type select user from dual okay and here you have to give semicolon otherwise see what will happen if i press enter now it has been shown two now what this two mean two means oracle is waiting for you to complete the command so what you can do there are two options either press enter okay you can press enter it will come back you have to type again select user from dual okay now let me do it again or you complete it by putting semicolon okay so see user is system so there was one way show user there was another way this now let me show you again select user from dual now i can put semicolon here say so and so because it was a sql statement because it it is a little bit like a sentence so show user was not a sentence so show user is an internal command and this is a query oracle internally checks what is command and what is query so it automatically does it okay but you cannot shortcut uh, sql command for example if i type select user from dual see what will happen error one okay so you cannot shortcut sql command but you can shortcut internal oracle internal commands like clear screen describe uh, connect show something like this okay i hope this is this is sufficient for right now so please uh, try to install and login and one last thing which i want to show you is if you want to see if you are successfully connected okay you have to type uh you want to see the list of tables you will type select star from tab so what you will see see uh, note down it in copy select star from tab you will see the list of many tables so these are the list of tables that are available in this login 163 now let me change the login 
okay now i will connect with some different user so what i can do now what you can see connect correctly it is connected with system i can type disconnect again disconnect is inter command i can type disk enter you can see disconnect now if i try to type show user see what will user is this it means it is not connected okay so and if i try to type something like select user from dual see what will happen it will say not connected so please remember not connected means you are not connected so you have to connect what you have to type again you have to type connect so connect where you have to type connect in sql prompt so again it is asking username let, let me type another csc this is another user that i have created connected now if you will type show user csc now type select star from tab these are the list of the tables okay so please reach to this point again i will suggest uh, please do these things what i am just revising you what you have to do you have to do install oracle express okay remember the password theek hai then uh, connect by using different ways the three ways i have told you in the beginning okay like click on start go to oracle click on run sql command line it will ask you username and password okay try to run the command show user try to run the command select user from dual and select uh, dual semicolon it is must and select start from tab okay so these these are the objective currently please do these things i am highlighting them again note down them in a copy please don't uh, ignore my suggestions okay so please do this and tomorrow uh, we will try to interact with you one by one so that i will come to know what is the status okay in case of any issue you can message me thank you very much see you in next video